Hello and welcome to evening prayer for Tuesday, September 6th. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now, as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalms for this evening begin with Psalm 32. Blessed is the one whose unrighteousness is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Blessed is the one to whom the Lord imputes no sin, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For while I held my tongue, my bones wasted away. I ceased not from groaning all the day long. For your hand was heavy upon me day and night, and I was dried up and withered as in the drought of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin unto you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my sins unto the Lord, and so you forgave the wickedness of my sin. For this reason shall all the ungodly make their prayers unto you at a time when you may be found. When the flood rotters rise, they shall not reach them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall encompass me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go, and I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse and mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not come near you. Great troubles remain for the ungodly, but mercy embraces those who trust the Lord. Be glad, O you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord, and be joyful, all who are true of heart. Psalm 33 Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. It is fitting for the just to be thankful. Praise the Lord with a harp. Sing praises unto him with the ten-stringed lute. Sing unto him a new song. Make skillful melody and cry aloud with joy. For the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are faithful. He loves righteousness and true judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breadth of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as in a heap and lays up the deep as in a treasure house. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Stand in awe of him, all you that dwell in the world. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He makes the devices of the peoples to be of no effect, and casts out the counsels of princes. The counsel of the Lord shall endure forever, and the thoughts of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and blessed are the people he has chosen for himself to be his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the children of men. From the habitation of his dwelling he considers all those who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them. 
and understands all their works. There is no king who can be saved by a mighty host. Neither is any mighty man delivered by great strength. A horse is considered a vain hope to save a man. Neither shall it deliver anyone by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him and upon those who put their trust in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to feed them in the time of famine. Our soul has patiently waited for the Lord, for he is our help and our shield. Our heart shall rejoice in him, but we have hoped in his holy name. Let your merciful kindness, O Lord, be upon us as we have put our trust in you. Psalm 34. I will always give thanks unto the Lord. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear this and be glad. O oh, praise the Lord with me, and let us magnify his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me out of all my fears. They looked, on him, they looked unto him and were made glad, and their faces were not ashamed. Look, the poor man cries, and the Lord hears him, and saves him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord camps round about those who fear him, and delivers them in time of need. O oh, taste and see how gracious the Lord is. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you desires to live and longs to see good days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. The countenance of the Lord is against those who do evil to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to all those who are broken-hearted, and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Great are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, so that not one of them is broken. But evil shall slay the ungodly, and those who hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord delivers the soul of his servants, and all those who put their trust in him shall not be destitute. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is Micah chapter 4. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and it shall be lifted up above the hills, and people shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall decide disputes for strong nations far away. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit, every man under his vine and under his fig tree. And no one shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord has, of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. In that day, declares the Lord, I will assemble the lame and gather those who have been driven away, and those whom I have afflicted, and the lame I will make the remnant, and those who were cast off, a strong nation. And the Lord will reign over them in Mount Zion from this time forth and forevermore. And you, O tower of the flock, hill of the daughter of Zion, to you it shall come, the former dominion shall come, kingship for the daughter of Jerusalem. Now why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in you? Has your counselor perished? That pain seized you like a woman in labor? Writhe and groan, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in labor. 
For now you shall go out from the city and dwell in the open country. You shall go to Babylon. There you shall be rescued. For the Lord, There the Lord will redeem you from the hands of your enemies. How many nations are assembled against you, saying, Let her be defiled, and let our gaze upon Zion, and let our eyes gaze upon Zion, but they do not know. The thoughts of the Lord, they do not understand his plan. But he has gathered them as sheaves to the threshing floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion. For I will make your horn iron, and I will make your hoofs bronze. You shall beat in pieces many peoples, and shall devote their gain to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of the whole earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's respond with the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed, for he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading will be Matthew chapter 7. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eyes, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Or which one of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. 
And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the wind blew and beat against that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. And when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he was teaching them as one who had authority, and not as their scribes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's respond with the song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us declare our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for all our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints and trusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. The collect for the day. O Lord, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, who through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, and shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. A few moments for your intercessions. We pray specifically for the huddle that will be meeting as this goes live. We pray that um, you would be allowing people that are exploring the faith to hear the good news, apply it to their lives. Pray this in Jesus' name. Now let's close with the prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
And the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. Have a good day.